Uh, please don't be Novacore, please don't be Novacore, please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a uh, this uh, thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? <laughs> hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class Three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corell. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be your boarding party. no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore Licensing Permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero. Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? 
This is right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be here. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh-huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier grand Raker. Unifier? Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Did she just say mom? Quill never mentioned your daughter. you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Around the corner, we'll be safe there. Here, help me with this. Would it help if I said please? Ready? Together. On three, two, one. <laughs> go, go. Oh. Okay. We need to keep moving. This way. You dead, Nikki? Whoa. Just stay I knew close. there was something wrong about that church ship. Who goes fishing for God in a junk? Oh, man. This is bad. Just give me a sec. Come 
Mon. You no, know, I could probably help if my jet boots worked. Regulation 3C. Never reactivate foot gear. Come on. If I can fly up. No! To... You're my prisoner. And I got this. Obviously. Oh! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. Are we sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? Ah! Hot! Hot! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine, ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay, I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Yes! Got it! Through here! We need to keep moving. Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star-Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Give me the good news. They're all fine. I mean, they all have life signs. Come on. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. That Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogram most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean, it's cool. Give them personality. Very cool. Okay, wow. That's <laughs> just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. Regulation 2B. Prisoners must stay close at all times. Really got them all memorized, don't you? Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not, but what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy, and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. This is another one of your bots? Yeah, her name's Joe Casto. Uh, invaders, trespassers, okay. prisoners who okay. keep wandering off. This way. This is an mm. attempt to escape your mom's ship. I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no, just, just promise you won't tell anyone about this place. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no, this is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. 
You want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a she massive team, team effort. effort. Were you there? Uh, uh I contributed to the war effort... Differently. differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good the kind of pirating. Pirate. Is this... Kreelar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah, he seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Need a hand? Nope, nope. But, but thanks. I'm almost, I'm almost done. done. Hey, hey, secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, <laughs> you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No, no. I mean, thanks. But ideally, mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So, I... Never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw my passkey! You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hollis' name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? <gasps> you promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. Oh, I've been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath. And... You recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes? Make sure the fire is out and the hangar's secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less like cooperating. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. Yeah, she kicked up too. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, is worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level, Captain's quarter. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. Kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Isn't this like against galactic law or something? No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. 
You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay. I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. It seemed pretty down to me. <laughs> Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Yeah. Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! Oh, that's what? weird. Dude. She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. You collect gold, empty your pockets. No, no. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I like hack stuff. You know, beep bop boop, boop boop beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters, and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. Oh, shit. It's like 30 years. Damn. How you get from one month to 30 years? <laughs> well, it varies. Some months have different days. Like 31. So, rough day, day, huh? 29, but Shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived, right? It was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. <laughs> Especially, Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Yeah, so who's the dad? Whoa, do the math. Daughter. We didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago when we. Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 7,000 units in three cycles. Wow, wow, um, okay, that is a lot of money. <laughs> Child support. Yeah, I was thinking Peter, that bro. maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay, you'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on... I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever? You won't regret it. <laughs> bro, Peter, you get it, bitch. Dude, that's an unspoken risk. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four. Not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the Damn. Hell, Peter? You said you could.
could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay. So we got fined. We have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. You are Groot. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <laughs> Damn, dude got a haircut? Oh, no. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that What's supposed that? to be? That's a shitty haircut. I'm going to be riding with Quill. I'm so Nuts, sorry with that. Stolen technology. You're not doing you good. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient trees! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. Why does this thing look so sinister? Hey, I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a tour. I don't snore that loud. I don't snore either. Yeah, I got okay. my consoles removed. So what is this thing anyway? Kind of looks like a like metal or face hugger. That, that is clearly a spinal control, control unit. unit. Yes, yeah. right, right, of course. Of course. A, a spinal control thingy. Back on, Back on Half World, Kree scientists use these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd, uh, they'd press, press a big, big fun red button, button and button zap! Instant, instant obedience. obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, unable to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting. Okay. And let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. 
Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it controls me? I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. Uh, wow. wow. Okay. okay. Um, well, if you need anything, let me know. I guess. Sure. Sure. That's why he always hates being. You know, he always wants to deem himself as a leader. I get it. That's mine. Oh, good. That's good more. Damn. Good more. You're supposed to knock. What are you what doing? You're supposed, supposed to be looking, to looking for, money. for money. I did. I did. And? and? I don't have any. Also, what's, what's with the, the dolls? dolls? Do you value, you value your life? Your life? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a <laughs> trick question? question? Okay, okay, yes. yes. Mostly, Mostly, I value my life. Good. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Got it. Damn. Oh, Root, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. I want to. I want to give him the translator. Damn it! Any units I uncover will go directly to you. I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. okay. Wow. wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It, it, it's an earth thing. What I mean is you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Can I get out of here? Am I just stuck in his fucking room? Oh, I was gonna save, bro. We'll sit behind the desk all day. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? <laughs> Appear to be 6,963 units short. <laughs> we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. I know. We clearly we need a plan. plan. We consider we my initial my proposal. Oh, oh no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, yes, we should go we should after, after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Fin Fang Foom, bro. Like that, that, you never hear him. Oh, come on. You You've been hoarding those stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine Zoom is always holding out on us. My figurines are not knickknacks. Team's in trouble. And you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. I will sacrifice your head. And take us to the majestic. Mountains yeah, of sure. Real mature. Real mature. Guys, guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am good. <laughs> he says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Fu. It was brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. And you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Oh, guys! 
Group, no, are you really no, offering to... No, 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 he is not <laughs> offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster to fit. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filled with the rage. The monster queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great. How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <coughs> okay, we, uh, we get it. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously, flying into them. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does. <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Is that a dazzler? Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? Paramethar did have a nice horse because it was dry. Hey, Groot, you think I got time to build a sonic umbrella? Ah, oh, come on, it's only gonna take a tick. Shoot, you're right. We ain't got no road to adhesive left. Woo, woo, smells like llama breath. Some money if we'd stop by nowhere first. Will you please stop? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but how about some positivity for a change? Positivity? No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course, it had to be raining. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Elbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. 
So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out <laughs> on the way. Fucking <laughs> Peter. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord! We ain't seriously walking through this. Got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed. Okay, direct, child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hillmender scoffs upon duplicity and discipline. Oh! That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. I thought I was scared. I was gonna be like, dang, everyone okay? Yeah, I just died. <laughs> we should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and their Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. Sharp on the inside! 
I am not sure, but I am sure that you have crushed it! We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. We sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she go? What does your magical mask reveal? Give me a second. Shoot stuff. There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! Having fun? You think I'd ever be shooting out a resistance ship? This husk should be easier to climb than funny terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. Clearly not a husk. It is the hollow husk of a bygone time, when the turmoil of war raged stronger than the storms of this world. Peter, get moving! Dax is having an existential meltdown. Great. I'm going to scout ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There, there. All right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. If it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Put me 
You're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of fucking cops! How will we cross? Look around, we'll find another way. Sure, it's this way. 
No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Helen could cross this junk down seven strides. Sure, she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Seknarf Nine. <laughs> that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. The more a mind cutting is bad, they say that Lady Helmet feels it at the time you cut the piece of her jump. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Nope. Now what's the hold up? No. Just thinking someone else just crossed the death pit first. Me, Bruno the merchandise. Plan A and plan B. Just go. No, you just go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. I'll just go, damn it. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster! It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move! Peter! 